Hi, the uh, hatchet-wielding hitchhiker who was an internet sensation is in the news again. Now, for those of you who don't remember <laughs> Kai, let me give you a little refresher. And so I grabbed the bag, I threw it over by that pole right there, and then fucking Buddy gets out and these two women are trying to help him. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So I fucking <laughs> ran up behind him with a hatchet, smash, smash, smash. Now, who doesn't love Kai, right? Well, maybe one man in New Jersey who was allegedly murdered by him. Now, he's facing murder charges. But, I mean, this story took a turn for the worst. Yeah. I mean, I did not expect uh, this to happen. But uh, apparently, authorities in New Jersey have a warrant out for his arrest. He is facing murder charges in the case involving um, a, a man in his 70s who was found dead in his apartment. Apparently, um, he was the victim of blunt force. Uh, so... I don't know, maybe a hatchet was involved Perhaps in this case. Perhaps that motion had something to do with it, yeah. Disaster. So this story has very limited details at this very moment. Um, information is kind of trickling in right now. And uh, recently, the latest update uh, was a Facebook post that Kai put on his uh, personal Facebook on Tuesday, and he said the following, what would you do if you woke up with a groggy head, metallic taste in your mouth, in a stranger's house, walk to the mirror and seen cum dripping from the side of your face, from your mouth, and started retching, realizing that someone had drugged, raped, and blown their fucking load in you, what would you do? Okay, and I'm sorry, I should have warned you guys that it would be a graphic uh, statement. But who knows what really happened? You know, he's a 24-year-old who's been living on the streets. He's homeless. Um, you know, I would say probably under the influence of some sort of drug. I'm speculating on that well, a little bit. Well, certainly under that, at that moment, yeah. he was under the influence of some kind of drug. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a horrible story, and uh, someone's dead at the end of it. And it was mm -hmm. horrible just by this seemingly rape or whatever you want to call it. So... Uh, yeah, just... Well, I hope he turns himself in, and if, if he was the victim of rape, you know, authorities can investigate that and figure out what really happened. But honestly, I mean, you, you go from internet sensation, someone that people also considered a hero, because by the way, he saved someone else's life by using his hatchet when this guy that was driving him around attacked this woman, right? Yeah. So, I, I don't know what will end up happening with this case. Obviously, we'll fill you guys in as we get more information. Yeah, now, just purely speculating for just a second, let's just say that what he wrote here in the Facebook thing did happen, mm -hmm. that he was drugged and raped and whatever, and that he did end up killing the guy or got into a fight with the guy and then accidentally killed him. And again, purely speculating. It, it goes to sort of this idea of like, what are you capable of? If something horrible happened to you, like what are you actually capable of? I, I don't think most of us know that until we're, we're put in a situation like yeah, this. Yeah, you know, that's always an interesting question because you know, we like to think that we would act in a certain way if something terrible happened to us, um, but you never know. And just a story, and I'm not trying to compare my story to this at all, okay? It's not even close to rape. But I remember years ago when I was exercising around a lake near my house, uh, this, this kid on a bike came close to me and just smacked my butt really, really hard. And I felt so violated and I remember kind of tearing up and I, I was scared because I was by myself. Who knew what he was gonna, like I didn't know what he was gonna do. Yeah. Um, and then he turned around again because he was coming back for more. And I kicked him off his bike and I, nice. I beat the crap out of him. No, but I'm not there the type of person who gets into physical fights. Yes, you, you know are. what I mean? But like, you, you did it when it counted. You do, you do it when you're in a moment of um, threat. And at that moment, I was like, I have to do something to protect myself. So yeah. anyway, but we're not saying that that's what happened with him. We're just saying if he was raped, um, it wouldn't be surprising if he acted out that way.